are you? I'm Sharpria White. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, if you know me, you know that I created the Single and Satisfied Movement, Inc. Um, it's an online ministry for single women, whether completely single or if you are actually in a courtship or dating. And so this movement is to encourage single women uh, to not settle for less in waiting for God's best for their lives, to not settle uh, or lower their godly standards, and to actually learn how to find fulfillment and wholeness in their single season if they desire marriage or if they don't. So for the ones who desire marriage to continue to trust God in sending them a husband, and for those who don't desire marriage, just to continue to trust God in fulfilling their God-given purpose. But in singleness or in marriage, to continue to seek God in their God-given purpose and to live a pure life, okay? And so, um, I've been told that sometimes the single satisfied movement seems um, like we're male bashing or like I'm male bashing. And what I wanted to just explain, that absolutely not. I believe marriage is a beautiful expression of God's love for us. As in Ephesians, it tells us how, the, how Christ, um, he is the husband of the church and we are like the bride of Christ. And so I believe that marriage is a beautiful expression of how Christ loves us. And that's why when I always talk about the Ephesians 5 man, it talks about how the male or the husband is supposed to love his wife like Christ loved the church. So I'm a very big advocate for marriage as I'm sure I will get married one day. But when I was single, completely single, because now I'm in a courtship, I was okay. I finally got okay with the fact that I may never get married. And I was okay with that because ultimately I wanted God's will for my life. And to be honest, I just got to the point where I didn't care either way because I was just more about fulfilling my God-given purpose. And I think that's okay as well. But I just want to say there's absolutely nothing wrong with being in a godly courtship or being in a relationship or marrying. I think that's a beautiful godly thing. But I also don't think that there is anything wrong with the person who is standing in their singleness, in their purpose, and proud of that as well. So I'm not male bashing when I say don't lower your standards, don't settle for less, wait for a man who's equally yoked with you, wait for a man who knows how to love you and who knows your worth and your value. To me, that's just a woman knowing who she is, knowing that she's valuable, and trusting God to send someone who will love her and know her value and that she doesn't have to lower her standards. Now I'm not talking about superficial standards because no one's perfect, we're not either. But I am talking about you do need to have deal breakers and that's whether you're a male or whether you are a female. And then you do need to know what's negotiable and what's non-negotiable. For example, I had a woman to ask me, she said she wanted her husband to be an entrepreneur, she wanted him to have great credit, she wanted him to have a certain amount of money. That's all great. However, to me, those some of those should be negotiable because what if God sends someone who's equally yoked, who loves her, who they're on the same path of life and they both love each other, but yet he's not an entrepreneur, he, he's a teacher. Or he's he doesn't have great credit, but he's working on his credit. He has a plan for his credit. So I'm saying no one's perfect. We aren't either. There are gonna be some things that when you meet a person, you're like, oh, okay, maybe he doesn't have this or maybe she doesn't have that on my list. However, this is a person that I feel I can do life with and who I can seek God with. With and pursue a life, a godly life and purpose with. And I feel that that's really the ultimate um, thing that we should desire. However, no one can give you your deal breakers. That's between you and God. So you do that for yourself. We all have our own. However, again, I don't see how that is male bashing because I love men. I know that they are um, the headship of the marriage. I know that God chose them to be the leaders and us as well. But I know that in the marriage that they are to lead us. Um, they're first among equals, and I believe that's a beautiful thing. I believe that um, when you're with um, a God-fearing, loving man, that that's great, and it's no problem with submitting to them because you are a God-fearing woman and you're trusting God with your life. Um, and so in those situations, I believe it is great. Marriage is great. And so women, again, and men, don't feel bad about uh, knowing who you are, knowing your value, knowing your standards. I will never apologize for that, and we will never apologize, whether you're male or female, for knowing who you are in God and waiting for the person that God has for you knowing that if you someone comes in your life where you feel like there's warning signs God's showing you and it just doesn't add up it is what it is that's not bashing you deserve God's best and that just is the bottom line so if you're not a part of the movement and you're a lady go to single and satisfied our private group and join or go to sharpria.com to find out more about the movement and what we do we have a great time encouraging one another um, it's accountability and again it's just a way for us to live our best life in a pure way in a godly life pursue happiness pursue joy pursue fulfillment in this season so I love you all go ahead and share this if it um, pleases you go ahead and give it a thumbs up if it's blessed you uh, go ahead subscribe below to my youtube channel so you don't miss any videos and as i said go to sharprio.com to see what else we're talking about and that's about it i love you guys and talk to you soon